I gotta talk about this. Let me get some nuts while I talk about this. Some people are just plain stupid. Some people are just plain stupid. What's going on, y'all? It's Pablo Bear here, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Epic Adventures. So, <laughs> some idiot thought in his world of common sense that it would be a good idea to taunt a bison. I said it, to taunt a bison. This person, an idiot, would think that his 200 pounds at best could take on a 2,000 pound bison. I don't know where this makes sense in his mind, but yo, <laughs> I'm going to show you the clip. National Park is responding to a video that's gone viral, showing a person in the road in the park seeming to taunt a bison on Tuesday evening. Take a look. At one point, the bison begins to charge at the person who dodges out of the way. Yellowstone National Park wrote on their yeah. Facebook page that rangers are actively investigating the incident. Superintendent Dan Wink had this to say after watching the video. Quote, the individual's behavior in this video is reckless dangerous and illegal. We need people to be stewards of Yellowstone and one way to do that is to keep your distance from wildlife. Park regulations require people to stay at least 25 yards from animals like bison and elk and about 100 yards from bears and wolves. He goes on to say that those distances are meant to keep both visitors and wildlife safe. You're at Yellowstone on vacation, okay? He probably had a couple beers. Papa was very intoxicated, which I hope he wasn't driving. That's a whole other issue if this guy was driving. But somehow, some way, he thought that by hopping out the car and having that liquid courage, that he's gonna sit there and pump the bison. The bison is probably thinking to himself, I can like back smack this, this back slap this human and make him my BITC, y'all can finish the rest of the world. Okay. He was blessed, and I say blessed, at the fact that he didn't get killed. Literally, this man could have been killed. Bison ain't something you want to mess around with. What's that place called? What's that event called in spring? Running with the Bulls? So many people get messed up when they do the running with the Bulls ceremony. There's a reason why it's in Spain and it's not in the US, okay? So the person's name that decided he wanted to be a smart behind to mess with this bull is Raymond Rinke, R-E-I-N-K-E, -E, 55 years old, okay? I, I don't know if you can ever come up with a reason why it was smart to do that. But fortunately for us and for him, so he, that way he won't do this again, uh, he did get arrested by officials. Um, it is illegal to taunt wildlife, okay? Despite the fact that it's stupid, dangerous, it, 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 it is illegal to taunt wildlife. Now, something that you guys got to think about, something I had to think about as I was sitting here, um looking at this this whole event unfold is that what if by him taunting that bison the bison accidentally injures or kills someone else okay because you had a woman outside her car recording what was going to stop that bison from running towards that woman recording i thank lindsay for recording that one, because it shows you how stupid you can be. And two, I, that that assisted law enforcement in catching that idiot. He is an idiot. It's, it's actions like his actions that get other people killed. And that irritates me more than anything else. I can understand you do something, you get yourself hurt, and you can sit back and be like, whoa, I'm not going to do that again. Olsen's having fun with his toy. I can understand that. But what I can't understand is when someone does something stupid, put themselves in danger, but in return, they come out of the situation fine and someone else get killed. I'm glad he got arrested. I'm glad that he's safe. And I'm glad that Bison didn't kill 
anyone else. And what you guys gotta understand, that I saw another video right after I looked at the bison video of a woman that actually got trampled, dragged by bison. I wanna say I was back in 2010. Okay, so we're in the park. And there's a buffalo. And he's just wandering across the road. Kathy Hayes kept her distance while getting video of a buffalo in Yellowstone National Park. But watching it from afar wasn't good enough for her friend who wanted to get a closer look at it for himself. Don't... With the camera rolling, she followed him and joked about how dangerous this was. Look at a shot of by the buffalo. Never expecting what would come next. They were about 30 feet away when the buffalo became agitated. When my friend decided to break through, the trees and that's when the buffalo saw him and started to charge at him. The man tripped and fell and that's when the buffalo turned its attention on her. <laughs> she took cover behind a tree. When the buffalo hit it, she made a run for her car but didn't make it. I was behind the clump of trees and there was only this much room in between the two clumps of trees. He maneuvered in between those and turned on a dime and came after me. The buffalo rammed Hayes in her left thigh, flipping her over. She landed on her right leg, which is now badly bruised. I was waiting, I truly was waiting for him to stop my head because I, I could hear his breathing and his hose were like right by my head. I just thought this was it, this is how it was gonna go out. When her Very point blank, you guys saw that woman. She thought her life was about to be over. In, in the video, you hear her say, well, I guess this is how I'm about to go. <laughs> and we've all, all probably had moments like that. Because I've had moments like that, like, well, here it is, this is how I'm going to die. And the next thing you know, an angel swoops in and saves your life. You guys gotta understand, when it comes to dealing with animals, wildlife, I leave them alone, okay? Now, Brad, I got a couple of video, you know, of me showing pictures of bears and stuff like that. But guess what? Let me tell you something. I'm far enough back to where they don't, they smell me. They probably don't see me. Getting up face to face with the creature where they can see opticals of your soul through your eyes is completely stupid. Okay? People still to this day do not take it serious when you come across the wildlife. Now, let's look back at the woman that got sampled, you know, almost killed by that bison. She was out of her car, okay? She was out of her car, and she was too close to the bison, all right? They give a recommended feet of how far you should be back from any type of animal, okay? And I wanna say at least 100 feet back. Um, she didn't buy by that. Now, it sucks that if the bison was gonna attack, that he hit the car. But that's what the car is there for. The car is a lot faster than the bison. Us human beings, yo, the fastest we can probably go is what? 15 miles per hour on a good day, okay? They got they got four legs, man, we got two. When you expect to outrun them, unless you're the Flash, I ain't messing with it. I ain't messing with it. And I'm not too concerned with black bears. Me, myself, and I, <laughs> Me, myself, and I. Anyway, back to the point. I don't like grizzly bears, and I don't like mountain lions. Two things that scare the crap out of me, because they're slick creatures, okay? Mountain lions are slick creatures. Red, grizzly bears are very aggressive. Now, last thing I'm gonna talk about. This video hits home for me due to the fact that when I was like 16, 17 years old, I was going through a significant breakup with a girlfriend. And I decided to go to the local woods back home in DC. And I've gone to this park many times before. And I've gone, you know, to, to the wood trail path that's that's laid out. I've gone through the woods and the path that's laid out. But this one time I decided to be a bright idea to go off trail because I saw a little side trail. I decided to go off trail. I went down the trail. And I go up to this farmland. Okay, and it had a little wire, electrical fence and everything. And I'm looking down like, huh, I wonder why they have electric fence. And I'm quiet in my own head because I'm upset about this girl. And what ended up happening is, I'm looking at the electrical fence, and I look off to my right, and I'm like, oh, that's gorgeous. You know, there's 
there's some cows all the way down there, you know, and it was like an abundance of cows down on one end, they like huddled up. And I look off to my left, and I see this big, black, ferocious creature. I think it was a wolverine, it might have been a bear, but either way you either way you look at it, I wasn't trying to find out. And so I take out this little rinky dink pocket knife, like this Walmart $5 piece of crap pocket knife. And I got it out and I, I duck down and I'm backing out very slow. And I'm praying to God that this creature does not see me. Because at the at that particular time, he had his head down and he was he eating. And it hadn't been raining. But his fur was like all spiky and stuff, you know? I wasn't trying to wait to figure out what it was. I got the hell out of Dodge. Period. Point blank. So, that event could have easily been the end of my life. Easily been the end of my life. I had someone, an angel, my mom was praying for me, whatever you want to say. I was the lucky some of my around. Someone had my back. And the same thing with that knucklehead that decided that he wanted to go ahead and taunt the bison. Someone had your back. And for the woman that got injured back in 210, I'm so glad that she's alive. Lesson learned. And hopefully when you guys, my subscribers, when you look at this video, share this. If there's any video you need to share, this is the video that you need to share. Okay? For the simple fact, for the simple fact, that you gotta sit there and you gotta take your friends. They can't be taunting these creatures. They can't be taunting these creatures, man. Because they gonna do what they gonna do. They gonna do what God intended for them to do. And when you taunt, mess with, with God's creatures, creatures that are designed, first and foremost, to kill because it's prey or predator, kill or be killed, live or die. They don't, they don't have the level of thinking that we have. Understand this. They don't have the level of thinking that we have. When you mess with God's creatures. Yo, karma's a beep. You said it. You said it? I said it. Yeah, you said it. Understand that there's been plenty of examples up there of us as human beings going somewhere that we didn't belong. There's been plenty of examples up there of some little kid that decides they want to climb over the fence and the next thing you know, it falls in the gorilla pit. And then from there, you're sitting there just, they have to put the gorilla down because that boy's life is in danger. There are plenty of examples of stuff, of stuff out there in regards to the fact that, hey, we got to use some common sense. And when you don't have common sense, just follow the law. So with that being said, everybody, I hope you next, next backpacking trip you decide to do, you guys are safe. You know, uh, you can run into a lot of things out there. You never know, you never intend. Security is most important. But the best tool that you have in regards to security, the best weapon you have in regards to being safe is this, this weapon up here. That's always been told. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Epic Adventures. I am Papa Bear. Again, if you like this video, share it. If you have any comments you want to put down, put it down below. And please subscribe. Go hike yourself. See you outdoors.